Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another quick pick prediction video. In this video, I'll be predicting the heavyweight bout between Muhammad Usman versus Junior Toppa in high season right here. I'm going low confidence Junior Toppa to beat um, Muhammad Usman. I feel like Junior Toppa has the background, he has experience, you know, he has the skills, but I do feel like he falls in the tendency, of, you know, bad tendency, of amateurish tendency to headhunt and not really conserve his energy. And also has a you know pretty bad defense on the right side. So it don't take a a super great phenomenal fighter to take advantage of a hole that's pretty much anyone can see. They just watch tape like what well, that guy's always open on the right side. He's always open on the right side. So maybe slip a hook in there. Like a left hook in there. You catch him or something. But yeah, that, that, that right side is open. And I could catch him through that window. If you don't leave that window open, I could catch him through it. Like I might have to clean this pile of striking. I might be stiff and artist. I might be a football player. It's my MMA background, but I could see a hole and I could take advantage of that. You could clip that and take that out of context. <laughs> but um, yeah. So um, I like Top of here, but not a whole lot to be honest. I think the best bet for this one is in the distance, and then they'll surprise you and they'll fight a one of those slippy heavy fit. Like you know, they'll recreate the 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 the. the, 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 the They'll recreate the Derrick Lewis versus Francis Ngannou fight and just go out there and just be staring at each other, scared of each other, scared of each other, not trying to throw no big punches and just like throwing everything but power or throwing everything non-committal. Just like, yeah, I'm just talking too much with this one. But um, yeah, I already said my issue with um, Top and why it's low confidence. It's like, you can act like he's this and that, but he ain't no true world-class striker. He ain't really incompetent us in yet in his career like that. You might as well just have a guy that's had some decent amateur career experience or just, you know, maybe a couple fights, like 10, 30, 40 amateur fights that probably been no amateur fighting for like six years. You might as well just say that he ain't no like amateur standout or no phenomenal striker like that. He's not that. So that's why the confidence is low. And then on top of that, the defensive tendencies, the not like not really smart with it, you know, not as smart as you want him to be with his cardio expenditure. So a lot of things not to like on um top of here but he is the more polished striker and i'm gonna say like a second round tko for him and hopefully he fights more clean and smarter than this one and tries to sharpen up his defense and his offense but he definitely got to stay on his p's and q's even his last opponent was you know pretty much beat him the whole fight he landed like five strikes and he just need to let land that one shot fight over so especially you got a clear area where you're not defending but again that's the that's the scary part of this fight but i'm gonna go top i'm gonna say he's gonna be cleaner more polished pick his shots better be more fluid and going to use that experience and use that um, background to his advantage and be the guy that only has, like, really no dimensions. He He's not a striker. He's not a wrestler. He's not a grappler. He ain't got no BJJ background. He ain't got no striking boxing background. He ain't got no kickboxing background. He's a, his background is football. And he's going to make it look like that. And I say he gets him out of there second round. But, um, yeah, chop the tree down slowly gradually and not just try to run run over him because that's how he might end up getting exhausting himself and getting cold and getting knocked out but pick a shot as well wear him down get him out second round so in this one i got a junior tafa via second round tko